The physical release of my webcomic Unfamiliar is out in bookstores now. Check out the link below. Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And today I want to continue my series where I turn random stuff into cute character designs and today I'm doing aesthetics. Uh, so I've noticed the rise of more and more niche aesthetics and like cores, like dream core, weird core, love core, and I thought it would be really fun to try to apply these sort of nebulous internet um, aesthetics to one single character design. So we're going to do that with a couple of my favorites. Um, this first one is less of a more recent recent modern kind of aesthetic and something that's much older, and that is minimalism. Um, minimalism has been kind of very popular, especially amongst the rich um, for a long time. Usually there's sort of an ebb and flow, um, and uh, at least recently, um, a lot of celebrities are enjoying this kind of like very pulled back sort of beige clean lines very simple sort of aesthetics especially with their architecture um and uh rest assured i'm sure it will swing back to like blatant shows of wealth and and maximalism again but um for right now minimalism is still quite popular uh sort of the like calm ikea kind of aesthetic also kind of comes into this and i thought for a minimalist character it would be really fun if i actually pared down my style so much that it is a simple line drawing with no line weight um and i really wanted her character traits to match alongside this like very under stimulating calm sort of aesthetic um so uh I sort of imagined her as an e easily overstimulated character. She doesn't even have a mouth, so she uses sign language instead of speaking. And generally, she ended up being like a really cute character. I feel like um, she seems very like soft and nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think it was really fun to draw her because she was so, she's so minimalist. It's like, you know, she's just sort of a gesture. The next aesthetic I want to talk about is Dark Academia, and just like a character in a Dark Academia novel, um, I started out with the best of intentions and grew steadily more unhinged. So this is me um, painting the silhouette of my character on a torn out piece of notebook paper with coffee and a, a lock of my own hair. Um, it was very late at night and I, I felt like this matched the aesthetic. Um, there were a lot of problems with this idea. First of all, my coffee wasn't strong enough. I think some of the ice melted in. I'm a uh, constant iced coffee drinker, um, so it was a little watery. <laughs> Um, and this whole idea was terrible in general, but it, it was the basis for the start of my Dark Academia character. Now, Dark Academia is a more maximalist style, I would say, and it's really attached to this idea of like college life studying but like the darker creepier side um and there's a lot of like novels that have gotten really popular that fit this aesthetic as well as a lot of tumblr blogs um still active tum tumblr blogs that will show basically images of like brooding dark-haired boys reading dostoevsky or something like that um and uh, cups of coffee and you know uh <laughs> autumn leaves. So that's kind of the aesthetic we're going for here. Um, now I've read a couple of the like big dark academia books uh, such as The Secret History by Donna Tartt and If We Were Villains. Um, I would consider the former to be like the the quintessential um, dark academia book and I, I recommend that one. Um, but basically uh, when I think about this aesthetic, um, when I'm not thinking about the visual aspect, what I'm mostly thinking about is about the like self-destruction in order to reach some kind of like artistic or intellectual height um, and I think it's a really interesting and appealing kind of thing because it's like when you really think about it like it's not that deep right like most of the time we're talking about just like studying a, a dead language or studying poetry or writing and like these things are very important but um, there's something sort of fun about people taking it so far that they're like completely self-emulating um, over these pursuits. Uh, I think it's interesting. Um, so obviously my character is going to be a, a student. Um, he's smoking, of course, because uh, he's, he's self-destructive. And I tried to also apply like uh, the vibe to the way that I'm drawing him. Obviously, um, even though I started traditional, I did eventually go to digital, but I wanted to, instead of using like my fill bucket tool and being really clean with it, I decided to use like an oil brush brush and uh, try to just sort of like paint it in and, and erase and leave a lot of texture. I gave him this little vest that has like a library shelf and some portraits on each side. Um, it's a little bit 
It's a little bit literal, but I, I like it. And then of course he has two little hair flippies um, that look like devil horns. Um, I imagine him as someone who's always afflicted with something. He's either sick or he's been in a fight or, you know, he's, he's melancholic. Something's always wrong with him. Um, and uh, I think it would be funny if he carried around a school and talked to it like it was his best friend uh, because he's also, of course, afflicted with madness. Just aesthetically, though, of course. Next up, we have a much more modern and I would say less established um, aesthetic, and that is Lovecore. Uh, I'm including it because I love it. Um, I think Lovecore is so cute. Um, it's a little bit more niche. It feels like another splinter off of like Harajuku fashion and ka kawaii fashion um, that was like really popping off in like Akihabara in Japan. Um, this feels like a distant relative, um, something a little bit hyper niche. Um, but basically, the idea behind love court it's very like valentine's day themed it's a lot of red and pink together love letters heart shapes um it's very committed to these core uh aesthetic choices so heart shapes are like mandatory the red pink and white is completely mandatory and you also just need to have generally this like lacy cute feminine uh, Valentine's Day vibe. That is like at the core of what Love Court is all about. Uh, the like Lana Del Rey Lolita heart-shaped glasses are really common and heart-shaped suckers and yeah it's just it, it's very strict so it's like very easy to embody. Um, it's less vague as some of these other aesthetics that I've done so far and so for my Love Court character I basically just wanted to fill her up with heart shapes and uh, really match this aesthetic. Um, Lovecore is such a like cute and uh, sort of dreamy, it feels like it's manifesting like love and relationships um, and romance into like every part of your life if you dress like this. Like it's hard to imagine um, <laughs> like being lonely when you're dressed in all this like cute like pink and red and white lacy heart-shaped stuff you know um it's just it's a very positive and adorable kind of fashion i think so um my character definitely ended up being like a very extreme version of this like i didn't want her to just look like someone who's dressed in lovecore i wanted her to be lovecore if that makes sense um and this was probably the one i had the most trouble with in that regard because all the other aesthetics are also for like architecture and like general vibe and lovecore is probably the most like straight up fashion aesthetic i don't know if i would have done that again um if i was to do this video again because yeah i i sort of just felt like i was drawing a girl in a really sick lovecore fit but i tried to make sure she really embodied it um and yeah that basically just included like complete um, aggressive commitment to the uh, aesthetic but also i gave her like uh, like vitilago in the shape of uh, hearts on both her face and her arms um, and on her like forehead and I think that that made her sort of embody it even more and I think she turned out really pretty and cute. Next up is one of my absolute favorite aesthetics. Um, it works for music and uh, fashion and like images um, and this is like dream core or kind of weird core, mainly dream core is what I'm working with here. Um, and basically it's just like things that feel a little off, but also nostalgic, but also like unsettling. Um, dream, dream core and weird core music is something I love, like um, Jack Stauber. And of course, as many of you guys know, Lemon Demon, my, my favorite musical artist of all time, uh, is definitely sort of a dream core, weird core kind of artist. Um, so yeah, I'm a huge fan of, of this particular core um and when it comes to visually dream core is very much about like things being like a little bit off extra um <laughs> eyes extra teeth things just being not quite right glitches in real life that kind of thing it's just ugh, it's so good as some of you guys know and i've talked about in a couple different videos i used to have like pretty much chronic nightmares i had them even pretty far into adulthood and um they were pretty upsetting but i think that one of the things that i loved about dream core is it kind of had me um <laughs> romanticizing my affliction a little bit since i couldn't do anything about it anyway um i'm happy to report that now i'm not getting them nearly as much so yay for that um but anyway i still have a huge soft spot for this sort of like settling um not super logical kind of aesthetic because it does remind me of those times when i took great comfort in this whole aesthetic thing and i think that these types of 
of aesthetics can be really, um, really lovely in that way. Um, they can give you sort of a way to understand things um, and yourself and the things that you like. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I, I kind of like this aesthetics trend where things are getting more and more niche and interesting. Uh, I know there's been some debate about it in the past, but anyway, here is my dream core character and all the characters I've designed here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, let me know what you want to see in the future and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to all of my patrons, including Ventali, Sniper, JP25, Lucy Amajiki, Heartless Doll, Fimus Die, Aries Chaos, Live Live, Salty Jackrabbit, New Smilk, Raven's Crow, Sauce T Hill Music, Jabber Dabber Doo, Gender Was Stolen, K, Moo Milk, Kadaria, Deadly Nightshade Art, Astral Fox Art, Expressive Poker Face, Subaki, Michael Lavalie, Cutie Pie, Rune Rain Crow, Ice Cream Pal, Kola, JJ Jade, and of course, Libba Libla.